All right, so I got these scissors right here from my father-in-law. They have a lot of play in them. He wanted me to sharpen them. And I am gonna sharpen them there. I mean, they're, they've got some edge to them left, but I'll go ahead and sharpen them anyway. But the biggest part of the problem of these not cutting was the play right here. It's too much gap. So to fix that, Using a ball peen hammer, tapping lightly all the way around the outside edge to peen it over and make it a tighter fit. A little more. I don't want to make it too tight, but it's got to be snug or the scissors won't cut right no matter how sharp they are. Oh, there we go. Oh. So the jig I'll be using to sharpen these scissors is a scissor sharpening jig. Comes with a win. I think that you get like five or six different jigs in their pack. And you use these two pieces in conjunction with each other. The first piece slides on. You'll notice the hole is at the bottom when it slides on, closest to the stone. I got this wrong in the beginning and it makes a big difference when you get it right. And then the back, Tighten the knob right there. Tighten it down so it stays. And we'll play with that to get our angle right in a little bit. The other part of the jig clamps the scissors. All right, so we're gonna set our angle and we're gonna know what's right because we're gonna put a little bit of red marker right on the edge of these scissors so you can see well you can't really see too good can you but what you can tell I don't know if you can see it there's red along there I'm gonna watch for that red being lifted off evenly top to bottom of that bevel and once if it, if it just takes a little off the top or the bottom my angles wrong but if it's even and it's taking it off in the middle then I know I know I'll keep it right there and I'll keep going so it's good All right, so let's see if I got the angle right. This is actually my first time checking it. Ooh, no, definitely not. I don't know if you can see on there. Let's see, where is that camera? It's on that side. See, it's, it took it off right, like right in here, right up here, but not on the other side. So it's definitely not right. So I'm gonna adjust it. Let's see. I'm gonna make it steeper. A bit like that. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Yes, sir. Okay. So you can see here. See where it went all the way across? That strip right in there? That means it's good. So here we go. That's good. If you can tell I have a little bit of red right in here on the edge so I got to keep going until I get that no more red so that side's good now I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side 
I was just gonna do the exact same thing. Plain old scissors are so much easier to sharpen than knives. You don't have to worry about lifting it as your knife curves. Some scissors do have a curve to them and you lift it a little bit, but it's just making sure that that the, uh, the tip touches. Usually it's at the tip where you gotta lift it just a little bit. But these are pretty straight. I don't really have to lift. And there's just so much jig. I mean, you're sliding it against the back and everything's just held so tight and still. It's almost foolproof. As long as you cut far enough. Probably it. Let's see how it does. Let's see if it'll cut that. These aren't really meant to cut cloth, but if they're sharp, they should. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Look at that. Much better. These things wouldn't even cut it before. And a lot of that has to do with the uh, with making them tighter. But yep, they're cutting. So that's good. Let's see how it does paper. Okay, piece of paper right here. Let's see how it does. Oh yeah, all the way to the tip. That's what you want. These are my father-in-law's scissors. I think he'll be happy with that. Got one more pair I'm gonna sharpen. I'm gonna sharpen these shears next. Now these, if you notice, are quite a curve through here. And I have never sharpened scissors with a curve in here like this. And it looks, oh my goodness, yeah, there's a little bit of recurve right in here and let me tell you I hate sharpening recurves but I'll give it a go let's see what happens got most of that black off in the middle so we're good let's do it take one more pass I think we got it I didn't take any time if you match the angle well it really is quick and easy all right flipping them over slightly too steep I'm gonna pull this just a fraction right there okay now this is a recurve just a real slight recurve so I'm sharpening it mostly just right here on this edge And this admittedly is not the best thing for my stone, but I do have a stone truer, which you can pick up one on Amazon for about a hundred bucks. And they slide across your stone and make it perfectly flat again. And the, really they are what makes the wind sharpener really close to the Tormek. But before you use that thing, you're, you're just like buh, 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 all over the place because the stones are much cheaper. But for $99, you know, I can buy a $30 stone like this and make it work almost as good as a $300 stone. I'd say that's worth it. All right. That's it. That's good. Now. These seem to be fairly tight. I don't think I'm going to need to tighten these up. Oh yeah, they feel good. See how they do that t-shirt. 
Oh man, nice. One thing is the tip. The tip doesn't sharpen. You know what? I bet you I need to bend it. All right, I'll be honest with you. This makes me a little nervous. These are my father-in-laws. Hopefully he forgives me if I break these. This is like on Forge and Fire. It's like you see this and you're like, oh no, don't do it. But I really think this is what I need to do to get these to work right. Uh, he don't care if I scratch them. Really don't know if that did anything. Let's see. Let's see how we're cutting here. Oh, we got it. Look at that. All the way to the tip. Almost to the tip. It stops just shy of the tip. I made a marked improvement. So let's do a little more. Oh goodness. All right, I feel it at the tip right now. I think that's got it. Let's see. Let's see. All right, here it goes. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. Oh, I didn't close it all the way. I close it all the way. Yes, sir. Great. All right, one final test laid out flat for you. Perfect. Yeah, so that's the thing with scissors. They're not just straight. They got to curve a little. They hook a little bit into each other. So as they go out to the end, they continue to touch each other with force so they can cut all the way through so the stuff doesn't slide in between. So that's it. They're good. Father-in-law will be happy. That's the main thing. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.